the weekly warm pipe. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another ranking video. We said we we're going to be doing one of these a month, so we decided on Tecmo games. I think there's 15 of them on the NES. Yeah, 15 nice. games we're going to go through. Give it a ranking. S, A, B, C, or D. I'm using the tier site. I think that's just a tiermaker.com. Sabset. What? Sabset. S, A, B, C, E, D. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an idiot. So this way it has all the box art here, and I'm able to just uh, drag it onto the listing here. So. If you guys are watching you can do that if not if you're listening then you know we'll just explain technically what we're doing and i'll try to bring up some gameplay as well kind of see these games most of the games i played and some i did not so <laughs> and hopefully the ones you have it maybe i have hopefully we'll see jay jay's dying over here <laughs> don't breathe in water it's not good for your lungs went down the wrong pipe Um, yeah, there's a lot of awesome gems on here, I will say, and some, some that I haven't heard of. So I was like, all right, we'll just go by gameplay and see, see what we like. I'll just go down the list of what I made. And the first on the list, we do have bad news baseball. Not sure if you heard of this one here or not. I have heard of it. Um, but whether I've played it or not is a different story right I like Let's the see. cinematics yeah i'd say the graphics look pretty good on this one here bad news baseball i think i think this is an expensive game isn't it i can't say i've seen it recently at any of the retro stores so possibly i don't know the price on all these let me get on ebay here and see what we see ebay who uses ebay for that? i guess what they're selling it for Soul prices give us some kind of. It's it's tough with the sports games because either they're fun or they're terrible, right? I feel like there's no in between on this one here. The players are very cutesy looking, so I mean, I guess it kind of has that. I don't know. Would you say anime ish or or one of the referees I caught was a uh, wearing rabbit ears? Look, he's a rabbit. This this is like a ten to twenty dollar game. Oh, that's, okay. that's, I, I like that he's a rabbit. Let me see if I have this. But, I mean, it's baseball. Not too much to say about it. It looks like the gameplay is all right. We're looking at a playthrough here, and it took them two mm. hours and seven minutes to play through the entire season. Lord, it's like a real baseball game. Yeah, I mean, why not? I'm sure I played yeah, this I, at some point. I mean, it's a baseball game. How good or bad can it be? True. It's got to be like run of the mill, right? Like, yeah, I'd like say average. so. Where you th- I'm going to say, say purely mm-hmm. based off nothing, nothing. except for that video, <laughs> I'm going to say B. B on that one? Okay. B for B baseball. For baseball. <laughs> we'll slap it in there. This is the premier ranking you guys were hoping for, wasn't it? Premier ranking of B for baseball. Well, I don't think we have an F on the next one, so we can't rank it on that, but we got Fire and Ice. It's a puzzle game. No, that is an expensive game. I do know that. That that one is, yes. Let's see if we could bring up some gameplay on this one. I have not played this one before. So I think that I have played Fire and Ice, um, and I'm 99% sure it's pretty much like the sequel to Solomon's Key. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Which I am a fan of Solomon Ski. I don't know if you are, but I am. Yeah, you have brought that so, up in, in one of our uh, I think, past videos. I think I'm going to have to give Fire and Ice probably like an A. I'm scared to give it an S, but I bet it's definitely an A. It's certainly a unique little puzzle game here. Basically, you're creating ice blocks and you're trying to get rid of the fire that's on the stage hence fire and ice and you can push the ice blocks so they slide across the ground or you can build them up and then like push them down so they'll crush the 
the fire. So imagine it starts off pretty easily and then gains in how hard it is. Yeah, a- That's pretty much exactly what Solomon's Key is like. I mean, this this game is identical to Solomon's Key, except you're making ice blocks instead of just regular, regular blocks. blocks. <laughs> They're like, let's make and it. And he looks icy. he looks a little he looks a little cuter on this one. Yeah, a little more, a little more, little Samson esque, and a yeah. little less. Uh, I'll Solomon. have to go back and maybe I can do like a, a stream of this in the future. I do like doing some of these tier games or where we talk about the games, and I'll get ideas on what the stream and i was like you know what that game looks neat because i did that with uh dragon fighter i ended up doing a full playthrough of that game and Kickmaster recently as yeah. well so those are up on the channel to check it out uh fire and ice we're ranking what do you adding, think you think an a i think it's I mean, probably it, pretty enjoyable yeah i mean i, I feel say... like I, how we're looking at our, our ranking right now i'm gonna have more fun with fire and ice than bad news baseball so I feel like I wouldn't put it at a B at the same level of it, right? Yeah. I, I don't like think it's an S tier either. I mean, it's a puzzle game. Like, it's not... I forget what it I mean, says on the... Can I, can Maybe I zoom, somebody would call it an A. Can I zoom in on the... Uh, what on that green sticker on the cover? Yeah, like, what does it say? This cartridge so this game. contains logic puzzles that may be highly addictive. Caution and restraint are recommended. So maybe it is an A unique uh design choice it is unique (laughs) a little weird all right moving along on this list by tecmo here we got next on the list is mighty bomb jack i don't know if you heard about this one i I have this this game you got this one i do it's in it's an arcade game as well but it also got ported to the to the NES. I've played it three or four times. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't love it. Right. I don't hate it. It's got some pretty good music, I think. Maybe repetitive music, but I remember the music. Can we hear it? Let's see. Very carnival esque. Yeah, I mean the the main antagonist kind of is mimicking a superhero looking guy. So the the gimmick on this is you're collecting bombs and treasure, and your character can jump really high, or you can hit the jump button again to kind of stop his jump because there's enemies appearing all over the screen. So you do as much looting as you want throughout the level. And you'll make it to the end. And then once you get to the end of the level, there's like this bonus room with all bombs in it. And depending how many you collect, you can collect them in a certain order. Where one of the bombs here is like, you can see the spark is ignited. So if you collect yeah. it in a certain order, you'll then, the door will open, right? And you'll go through it. And then there'll be another room. And essentially, you're using like a warp, but your uh, how do you say it? It's like risk reward, like how much. Okay, you but you could blow yourself up, maybe. Like, oh, do I want to keep warping, or do I just want to exit? Because then, if you keep going, I think then you lose all your warps that you just gained, essentially. Oh. But I remember playing this one a lot um, growing up. I either rented it or something like that. Maybe I owned a copy. Having an okay time with it. It's kind of a unique game. I never played it in the arcade. But I don't know. Yeah. It's not bad. What it's, you not, it, you? What? It's, it's not like D or anything like that. I'd, I'd probably maybe put this one at a, at a B. Either a C or a B, I'd say. Yeah, I, I was the, thinking C, but I'm, that may be slightly unfair since I haven't played it much. Gotcha. I'll, I'll let you give it the official letter. We'll give it the old uh, B for Bomb Jack. <laughs> there you Okay, I say I like it. B for Bomb Jack. Boom. Baseball, Bomb Jack. Bears beat. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> sure. Well, we that got? quote? No, no, I didn't get that one. Did, do you watch, did you ever watch The Office? Yeah. 
You get that quote. I don't know. Remember when Jim when Jim tells the white bears beats Bellstar Galactica. I know. Fair enough. Moving on. <laughs> Moving All on. All right, we got the trifecta. Ninja Gaiden. One, two, and three. On Tecmo. Uno, dos, and tres. I could probably just bring up gameplay of one of them, right? <laughs> I mean, they they have different differences. We'll go through. The, the, the third one is graphically the most different. Gotcha. Ninja Gaiden, 1989. Music. And you would almost think, you know, oh, this is a Capcom game or Konami, but it's like, kind of stands out being a Tecmo game. Tecmo. Right? Yeah, and I, I love the graphics, the graphical style they use for this game. And again, this like a gritty feel to it. As I say, this also was an arcade game, and I definitely prefer the NES version over the arcade. Me too, surprisingly. Um, Super that fun. boxer guy. Yeah, don't let him get started. Ah, uh, it just gets you in a corner and you get stuck. That's right. He just wails on you. Um, for notorious how hard this game is, I will say I've always had a good time playing it. Uh, you know, whether I was renting it or playing it back when I was growing up, definitely a fun time. Gotten pretty far. I have beaten it, but I used save states to beat it. Yeah, Although we did kind of get cheated in the states where if you die at Jack Jack Wheel, you have to start the entire level all over again. Where it was supposed to be There's some. You're just supposed to start right at him. So it's a little more challenging. Some here. bull crap. <laughs> yes. Now, I will say, uh, I think Ninja Gaiden is not that hard until pretty much the final stage. And then it just amps up unbelievably. Right. Now, you see that spin attack that he just used to kill that boss with one hit? Right. The secret is to get that on Jack Wio and you can wipe him out so fast yeah i mean it does a does a good number on uh a lot of the bosses on the game it's almost it's it's the metal blade of ninja gaiden yeah, exactly yes so what are you thinking russ i'm thinking despite it's how hard it is i think ninja gaiden's gotta be a s yeah i mean it's, it's definitely the first one um <laughs> we'll we'll see about the second ones and the third one there but Everyone, I'm pretty sure, who owned an NES has played this game. Maybe got frustrated with it, but I'm sure played it enough to probably enjoy it. Good music, solid gameplay, S ranking. Cool cutscenes, good story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I almost we didn't even mention the cutscenes. Yeah. Fantastic story. They have you could just look on YouTube and just watch all the cutscenes, and it's like two hours worth of like cutscenes essentially. That's wild, right? Yeah. No, is that of all three? No, no, just I think I think just the first one. So just the scenes. first one? Wow. Yeah, pretty sure. Like cuz you know they're they're pretty slow paced, so All right, what do we got? Ninja Gaiden 2: The Dark Sword of Chaos. So I think some of the things that make the second one interesting are a the shadow ninjas that you can kind of get you can right. get up to three, and they're like little pink characters that follow you. That is pretty interesting. Would you call that pink or red? I would almost call it orange. Red. Orange. Okay, <laughs> let's go orange. Yeah. Um. So those that kind of is a neat little mechanic. Whoever thought of that? Um, they're like getting little clothes. Some of the annoying things are the wind, the the thunder and lightning, and the darkness. Um, well, I guess, you know, they're trying to think of ideas of how can we make this different from the first one? Well, we yeah, I mean, that's it. what they're doing. They're trying to just differentiate it, right? And make it interesting. So they're like, all right, we got to add um, elemental things in it where it's like, oh, okay, the wind blows you a certain way and you fall into a pit if you're not jumping at the correct time, essentially. That guy looks like Vice Project Doom, doesn't he? I know, it does. <laughs> a little crossover. Yeah. Um, so this one is the easy, has the easiest final boss, in my opinion. Right. I think you were saying if you want to beat them, it goes two, one, three in order of easiest. 
Yeah, and all the reason three gets the say over one is because three has limited continues, whereas one doesn't. But one is actually probably harder. Okay. If you just had more continues on three, I would flip those, I think. I think. Maybe not. But again, it's got great gameplay. They added a few things. Here's that wind element. Some people like or not. <laughs> I do like when you cling onto the wall, you can now climb the wall by hitting up or down. So you Yeah, that was that stuck. was nice. So they that definitely nice. took like that. You would have been dead. Like it's no way you're getting back up. So they they mm-hmm. took some things that were bad in the first one and made it a little bit better, and then they tried to add some stuff so it stands out a little bit. I would give this one a an A, maybe. A little bit less, yeah. Maybe just a little bit. Not as enjoyable as the first one. I don't know why. I don't know. I just feel like maybe not quite. Not quite. You know what? We wouldn't want to go straight ass on all Ninja Guidance. We'll be a little different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you ask me tomorrow, I might give it an S. I don't know. That's it's tough. Okay. It is a tough one. Right. Number it's three, though. Sense. Ninja Gaiden 3. You say Gaiden or Gaiden? <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. Hey. hey, isn't that the way he says it in the wizard? Gaiden. Oh, yeah. Ninja. Gaiden. I haven't heard it called that in years. Um, sorry, ABGN. Uh, I think I say Gaiden. Gaiden. I don't, who knows? I don't know. Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, Gaiden. That's what NES Complex is. <laughs> I don't know. This, this one, uh, I feel like he just. Maybe it's his sword, but I feel like the graphics are just a little different on this one. His sprites just a little different. He's got a little uh, wind on like his bandana. Thing yeah, that's like, yeah, that's coming out. How do you feel about those test tube babies in the background? Uh, creepy. I mean, they did mm. they did a pretty good stand up job of making a lot of background stuff stand out. Yeah, in this here. I will say I do have a uh, I do have a Ninja Gaiden tattoo. Pretty cool. <laughs> you guys haven't haven't seen that. So from it's one of the scene. coolest tattoos I've ever seen, actually. So maybe, maybe we're biased to uh, to judge these. Um, See, look there he is, test tube baby. Oh yeah. So this one's pretty neat. I I love that they did the sub weapon in the little spears. You can see what it is. So you're not just guessing, like, am I going to get this item that I don't need? And you're like, oh, there's a ninja star. Let me slash at this. So that saves you time. So you don't have to slash at every single orb. I totally agree, because in Ninja Gaiden 1, there's times when I want a specific weapon, and I've often gotten the wrong thing because of what you just mentioned. Right. Not knowing what you're slashing. So again, that's a good uh, improvement on the gameplay of that. Which is funny because I've never actually noticed that, Russ, but you're right. That is way better. Other than that, I'm not sure if they changed or improved anything else. You said the graphics the, slightly. Yeah, I think the graphics are a little different. The other thing is just like this, just you get, th- I think, three continues or maybe four. Right. That's where the added difficulty is. They took away unlimited continues, unfortunately. So you just. But kinda... I don't think the final boss is as hard. I don't think, if I remember correctly. I've. There's a big warship as the very last thing that you fight. Right, because um, this is Ninja Gaiden 3, Ancient Ship of Doom. That's right. This playthrough is only an hour that we're watching here, so if you're good at it, you can beat it in under an hour. Dude's good. <laughs> this this game probably took me a week of playing this every day to beat, so way less time than Battletoads. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to say this is probably A tier. Or, or, sorry, not A. S, A, I'm gonna give this S one tier, S. A, an, an S tier, A, S tier. We'll go, with yeah. S on number three. So we got, yeah. What do you think? Do you agree with that? Yeah, because they I said they added a little bit more. Like I said, I'd really like that you can choose what your weapon is, and yeah, I like that the, the tweak of the graphics. The downside is the continues, the lack of continues, but you just got to get good. Get good. I don't know. I almost feel I must feel guilty putting two in the A, but I think let's just leave it. 
we'll leave it as is. Maybe we'll we'll right. come back at the end and maybe leave it in the comments that. below if if I'm wrong on that. People will be like, "What?" That could be in the thumbnail. Be like, "Ninja there Gaiden Two A ranking." Yeah, not an S. <laughs> not an S. What are you guys doing? Is Jay, an idiot. <laughs> yes, he is. Possibly. What else we got, Russ? All right, moving on after the Ninja Guidance, we got Rygar. Oh, Rygar. My oh, relationship. Rygar. It's, I want to so, like it so, so bad. Love, and I, just, I, just don't, I don't, I just don't love it. I want Again, to. this wasn't any, I wonder if most of these were uh, arcade games that were then made into NES games. I don't know what it is about Rygar. It feels daunting. Yeah. I don't know why. You got to watch the uh, Generation Gap Gaming video on how to. I was just thinking about him because I was like, if 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 Tyler heard me, he would be saddened. So this is kind of like a adventure ish RPG platformer game. Got fantastic mu- music, I will say. I enjoy that music. I like. I enjoy the graphics too, and I I enjoy the way he runs. He has uh, some kind of a gingerly run. Uh, right. It's good. It's good animation there. And you get this little shield on a on a string that you're throwing out at people. Why do these turtles hate people? Why is turtles such a common enemy to be in games, I guess? <laughs> you know what hates Rygar? Large turtles. Um... Yeah, I've, I've live streamed this one and played through it not too long ago. I, you, so I, you've beat uh, when you say I, you played through it, you've beaten it. Yes, yeah, I've beaten it. How how difficult is it? It's just knowing what to do, like that makes it difficult. Like leveling up, not doing that, and can make the game harder. Or knowing a little bit where to go certainly has a learning curve, and I would definitely recommend using like a guide some type of walkthrough to help you through. I'm almost on the fence with you. Like I really want to like love it and enjoy it a whole bunch. I'm just not like super excited. Like I could throw it in, play it for a little bit and not really get anywhere because I don't remember where to go, but I do like everything that they did. You got these cool rooms where you go in and they give you little tips and sometimes they'll give you health. And the exploration is cool. You get to enjoy exploring this world that they created. You know, I played it a bunch, either renting it back in the day and the music is how long, good. How long would you say a playthrough of this is? How, what did it take you, Russ? Two, three hours? Uh, probably two hours. Yeah, because usually I live stream not, for about two hours. So that's not too bad. Yeah. So Rygar, where do you think it might fall into this? Looking at our tier list well, here. Being somewhat objective, it has good graphics, it has pretty good music, it controls well. Yeah. I th- I think my problem with it is just that it's 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 not Rygar, it's me. <laughs> it's not it's you. Not it's you, it's me, me Rygar. I would probably say it's probably a B. It's probably a B. I was going to say these think? two. You, you these played two it more covers, than that. These two covers are very similar. <laughs> they really are. I was like looking at them, and I was like, "It's kind of trippy." Tree on the left side, Even the t- guy hair. Tree on the left side, guy hair, and a little Golden monster. Red. And there's like a little bird to his left, a little monster to his left. Wow! And they both got the same color. So they're they, both it reaching was, up. It was meant to be in the B. <laughs> like, hey, what do we do with this? What do we do with this cover? I right, just make it look like Ragar. <laughs> <laughs> or or vice versa. Make it the like Mighty Bomb Jack. I don't know. Vice versa. Perfect. Yeah, I think it's good in the B section. All right, give it a B. B's get degrees. All right, what else we got next on the list? All right, here's your good old buddy, Solomon's Key. Ooh, Solomon. I love Solomon you. and his key. Similar to Fire and Ice, we were saying, right? That's right. They're like twinsies. Like me and you, Russ. Twinsies. Couple of white guys with beards and backwards hats. <laughs> Wearing clothes. So the graphics aren't as, as good as Fire and Ice. Not as, not as crisp, but there's still something charming about the, the 
that lack of detail. Right. So you See how he looks a little guy. goofier? Right. He's a little goofier with his little brown and green. And but his like, name's Dana. Why is his name Dana? Dana. Jeez. So you can either destroy destroy blocks or create them. Just like right. Fire and Ice. Yep. And then you're trying to also like, you know, make the little giant fall and that kind of thing. Okay, so you're trying to kill that guy there. There he is. Yep, so he just he just landed on his stupid head. I didn't realize there was so much stuff hidden. I never really oh, yeah. break any of the, the other blocks. You're like, what else is in here? I can spend all my time getting. Yeah, he's finding all the good stuff. Look at him. It's like it's like Super Mario how he bangs his head on the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know, puzzle game. Yeah, it's it's uh I mean I'm kinda of, I'm a little biased towards it, so I wanna say A, but it's probably B. What else we it have? plays well, well. We have... it's got it's got fun music. Yeah. The, the graphics aren't quite as good as Fire and Ice, and I said I think that's why I'm gonna drop it to a B. I don't know, it's it's it could be an A. But then maybe be maybe somebody would put Rygar an A. I don't know. I think I'm trying to be objective it's, as possible. It's, well, I feel like Fire and Ice just did it better, so that is appropriate ranking if Fire and Ice is an A. Salmon's yeah. team should be a little bit, I guess. And it rhymes it. with B. Key <laughs> rhymes with B. Key. Salmon's yeah. key. B. Commons B. Commons B. All right, we got one more, and then it's a bunch of sports games. So we'll Great. do... We'll do uh, see what you guys say because I reached out. I'm to guessing everyone. Star Force. Star Force is the next one on the list, which is a shooter, space shooter. Do I have right? Star. I need to look and see if I have it. I don't think I do. I definitely played my fair share of uh, shooters back in the day. Star. I wrote store. Star Force. Star Konami. Force. Okay, here we go. 1987. Jay's checking to see if he has the physical game of it. I don't think I have it, so I probably haven't played it. Let me see what this looks like. Okay. So you got a uh, top-down perspective, scrolling upward. You're in space, going over what looks to be like some space station or a long ship or something. I don't have it. I have Star have Soldier. Uh, I have okay. Star Soldier. Star Soldier. It's tough with the shooters because they're fun. You get your level up and everything. But again, when you lose that level up attack and you just have your stock gun, it's hard to progress in the yeah. further levels. So you just have to get good and not lose your special weapons when you get to the later levels. But I'm not great at shooters either. Yeah. And I prefer horizontal to vertical shooters. Gotcha. Yeah, this seems like I don't like really it's just know a why. So like this almost gives way. me like uh like what's the legendary wings vibes. Okay. Even though that's a even though that's a dude flying and not a ship. <laughs> legendary wings slash Dragon, Tiger, Tiger yeah. Heli, uh, Tiger, yeah, yeah Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Heli, 1943, all that stuff. It's okay. Have you, I don't ha- know. have you, have you played this one, Russ, for a fact? Mm, I, maybe like I probably rented it. I bet you I rented it back in the day. So I probably have little hours into it. I'd say generic shooter B. Yeah. I was like, I don't think it deserves a C yet. We haven't had any C's. We're being pretty generous with the B's. That's right, we are. We'll see with these sports titles, though, where those stack up. We have... Oh, there's a couple bangers in there. We have six. Six to go. We'll reach out and see what you guys said about Tecmo. Which ones were your favorite? That was a good enunciation, Russ. Thanks. What did you say? What did you say? Springfield, let's hear from you. 
let's hear from you. Head over to the weekly warp pipe YouTube page and see what anyone said. Let's find out. Probably should have pulled these up prior, but I did. Good. <laughs> we'll take the long route there. Springfield, let's hear from you. All right, no comments on the uh, YouTube page. Fair enough. We got Instagram. We'll check there. Nobody wanted to rank Tecmo games, I guess. I guess not. No. All right, we got one on Instagram. All so right, we'll showcase we that. Samuel says Ninja Gaiden 1 through 3 are all S tiers. Oh, Samuel, there you go. Fire and Ice and Rygar are both A tiers, in his opinion. Everything else from Tecmo on the NES isn't really my bag. Well, I mean, we weren't too far off. Yeah. I mean, they did produce and ice a, and a. a lot of sports games, so it's definitely sports games heavy. So maybe a lot of people didn't like those sports games growing up. What There's one on there that deserves some praise. All right, we got two comments here on our Facebook group. Let's jump over to there and then we'll get back into finishing up with the sports. Austin Mills. What's up, Austin? Thanks for commenting. By the time you get to this comment shout outs, I'm sure Jay will have mentioned it, but I really enjoyed Tecmo Super Hockey. Super Hockey? Ninja Gaiden was fun at first, but I was never able to enjoy it as a kid because it was so difficult. A much newer game from Tecmo that I've enjoyed is Attack on Titan series based on the anime. It's a super fun game for anyone who was a fan of the show. So I didn't press this set. Oh, no, I did say NES. I, was gonna say, I don't think I said NES. But the big you picture purpose. just said we are ranking all the Tecmo games. So I assume this from is NES. Super NES was Tecmo Super Hockey, I assume. I don't know. There's Can a pro heard? sports hockey. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't and know. I don't know what the uh, Attack and Titan is on. Maybe it's on new gen consoles. This sounds like something modern. Right. And we got Matthew Durkin as well. Tecmo isn't really one of my favorite developers for the NES. The Ninja Gaiden games are fun, but brutally hard and frustrating. The same can be said for Rygar. The Tecmo Bowl and Super Bowl games are classics, but I can't really think of anything else published by them. I enjoy playing. Yeah, I said they only have 15 games, so they didn't really pump out a whole lot. So Tecmo Super Hockey is apparently a Genesis game. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Uh, yep, interesting. Well, you taught me something new. There we go. So maybe you can check that one out. Jay, Jay loves himself some hockey. But I don't love Sega. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I really don't. I don't know. I, I have a Genesis Mini and it's hooked up to this little TV behind my monitor here that you guys can't see. Um, and I just, every time I play it, I'm like, I'm so glad I bought a Super NES as a kid. Right. Instead of that. Sorry, Tyler. I know Tyler mm -hmm. loves him some Sega. <laughs> All right. The next on the list, we got Tecmo <laughs> Baseball. Not sure if you played this one here. I will say it looks a lot better than the bad news baseball. You think? Well, not this part here that they were showing. Ah, uh, I, I think bad looks news baseball looks thing. better. But look at this. This is kind of neat. You get this little different uh, view of angle. Maybe this is the expensive one. <laughs> no, I I think I was thinking of bad news bears or something. I don't know what I was thinking of. How does this differ from the other one? I'm not seeing too much. Uh, right I'm not seeing any difference. It's all about I the think same it gets, I think We're, it gets that B, that B for baseball. B for baseball? Not No C on this one? I guess. It's you know what? Screw baseball. this. I hate this game. Give it a C. <laughs> I don't like how it says Tecmo. It's stupid. Put a C on it. C on it. I, sw I sway Jay over 
<laughs> so easily. <laughs> Let's see. So it would be this one here. Baseball. Right. There. I do like the cover with the picture. That's cool. I will say the sports covers look pretty good for what they're worth. But we're not ranking the covers. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, next is Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile has got to be classic. either an A or an S. Why do people like, rank Tech it Mobile so is like just because it's, it's that classic. classic? Yeah, like people love Tech Mobile. I don't know if it's I don't know which one's better. It or Super Tech. I think Super is probably better. Yeah. Is it Tecmo Super Bowl or Super Tech Mobile? I don't know. I think it's Tech Tecmo Super Bowl would be the next one. Will be on the list here. I yeah. mean, the group, oh, did you see the Rygar logo? Did you see the Rygar? On oh, on the screen that billboard. That, yeah, that like uh, advertising. They're like, hey, check wait till it other clicks. Games. Wait till it shows the screen. See oh, Rygar. Yeah, like Rygar. <laughs> That's I love when the video game developers do that. Sneak that in. Me too. Uh, Techno Bowl. Pick Bo Jackson, right? That's right. Pick Bo Jackson. How did that guy run through this people? This has <laughs> got to be an A. Like for such an early NES title. Right. Or, 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 or like an early football game. Yeah, this I definitely put one. my fair share of playing this one here. I, you know, from me going from football on Atari 2600, and then you're seeing this, you're like, whoa, look at these graphics. Like, you can actually pick plays. Run the ball, pass the ball. And I like the I like the teams. way you pick the plays. It's kind of interesting. Like right, B or left and A or Yeah, I guess they had to come up with a so you're not selecting on screen so your opponent could know your play. So you could kind of hide right. and like, all right, yep. I'm just gonna press this combination and he doesn't know. So that's definitely they couldn't for sure. screen look. Right. It's like, hey, keep your eyes on your own own TV. I saw you pick nickel defense. <laughs> Where are we going? We think A and Tech Mobile. Yeah, let's see. And then obviously the sequel, we got Techmo Super Bowl or Super Techno uh, Bowl, whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah. That's probably going to be a S tier. Trying to remember what they added that was. They added extra. the word Super Russ. But it wasn't on the Super Nintendo, so it was going to confuse <laughs> people. <laughs> Maybe. That we was did do Super Nintendo. We did do out. a little um, Super Bowl when the Super Bowl came out. Me and my buddy Joe Shivi did announcers, and we watched the um, football game as if it was played on Techno Super Bowl. So one thing with Techno Super Bowl, if you guys don't know, they do ROM hacks of this, so they update the roster, so you can get Techno Super Bowl twenty twenty four. With all up, you can play with roster. Travis Kelsey, right? So that's what we did. We watched the Super Bowl as if it was going to happen and commentate it on it. So I think they did offer. So the first one didn't have NFL teams; they just had, I think, cities that you could choose. So you were like New York; you weren't the Giants. But this one, they were able to add that in. We've put towns on the map like Shelbyville, Loudonville. <laughs> so what do you think this one's probably s ranking then if the other one was I, I, I think so i mean it is super it is super it goes with the S. super for s there we go somebody's gonna butcher our butcher our rankings in the comments all right we only have three left i don't know how much promising they are but we have tecmo cup soccer game is the name of it. Techno That's a dumb name. Cup. <laughs> Tecmo Cup soccer game. Opposed to like it? football. Right, true. Right. So I can't say I, ne I never played this one before. So we're going to watch some gameplay and kind of, we'll I see, guess, we're going to judge, judge it on the gameplay. Totally on that. I was never a big soccer fan, regardless. I have Mega Man soccer. Yeah, I guess that works. I mean, I would have played. He was born to play soccer. Pele, any of the like River City Ransom looking like that? Did he just slip on a banana games. peel? I guess he's look at all, oh, dude. Look at that guy. Wow, blonde hair, blue handsome, eyes. McBlue eyes. His name is Robin Field. All right, 
let's get into some. Okay, I think I remember Very watching John, John Riggs's video, and he said this is, it's almost like an RPG soccer game, right? Weird. Look, look at this. Weird. Like, you have these almost, like, cut scenes and, like, he, he runs like Ninja Garden. I mean, I'm impressed with the graphics. It's certainly Look, it even says you, you can choose expecting. to mark him or, like, or cut. Oh, this right. is weird. This it is kind of very RPG esque. This is strange. Number eight passes. You get a little commentator. Oh, look at that! Perfect. He look at that. How he just caught that on his foot. It's love. Dude, these guys are. This is a wild way to play a soccer game. Oh, look at that! Even with the with the lines and everything. Wow. Look, he came by. And what? Dude, this, this is madness. <laughs> I maybe I gotta. Dude, play that guy's got game. some. That guy's got some high shorts on. He needs to be careful. He's got to expose too. himself. All right, what do you think? Yeah, we watched some gameplay. We watched a couple couple minutes here. Of it's gameplay. it's definitely super interesting. Like that is a really unique take on a like soccer game. They could have gone many different ways. You know, I would have expected it to look. What did Rig say? I'm sure he didn't rank it at like a D or anything like that. So I just feel like. I just feel like I wouldn't like it. C, B, and or C, and B's. Oh. You want to go C on it? I mean, I would say it's definitely unique and the graphics look great. So I feel like it's I better like than what baseball looks. Was the audio good? I didn't hear the audio. Yeah, I didn't play any of the audio on there. Do you want to hear some of the music? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah let's hear some music real quick. We got time. We got time. Let the listeners hear the music, Russ. You guys hear it? Now see that. Oh, come on. Did you? Why'd you stop it? Is it stop when the gameplay stops? I can still hear it. It's pretty good music. <laughs> <laughs> that music is kicking, bro. Does it change? We I only gotta, got one track? Dude, I gotta ask oh, Aaron if he's heard this. It's very Ninja Gaiden-esque. I mean, oh, dude. same company, oh, dude. right? This, this music just bumped it up to a B for me. Oh, and it's getting like, like a final boss. <laughs> dude, okay, I gotta buy this game. I'm going to the game store this weekend to get this. I've never, I honestly I don't think I've ever seen it at the game store. Techno wow. Soccer. Do I Techno have Cup this? Soccer Game. That's funny how we're like, we're watching it and there's like, well, let's see how the music changes it. And it really does. It really amps it up for sure. <laughs> Dude, that music is killer. All right. It's definitely got to get a higher ranking then. It's got to get a B. I'm gonna tell. I, I want to know if Aaron's heard this because he's always talking about on Pixel Podcast like good game music. Yeah, I'm gonna Techno ask him right now. Soccer game. Let's see. What if we could get Aaron to answer? <laughs> you put him up on, on the game. podcast. <laughs> hey, hey, Aaron. You're not, you're not busy, right? Hey, Aaron. You're not busy, right? We're doing a live podcast. I'm curious if you've ever heard the soundtrack for Tecmo Cup Soccer Game. It is so good. Let me know, boy. I thought you had called him. <laughs> so just no, 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 no. I just, I just sent a message. Fair enough. He was just in my uh, my most recent video. If you guys checked out my most recent video, was Sega Master System games that came out after the Sega Genesis came out. So you did a little video I talking about seen columns. That. It's my latest top three Tuesday. I'm going to watch it tonight when I'm laying in bed. Perfect. Thinking about how I wish we were still chatting, Russ. <laughs> All right, we got two more to wrap up. We got Tecmo NBA Basketball. NBA Basketball. I'm going to go ahead and tell you I have bias towards basketball. Oh, good or bad. I don't bad. like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I liked it in the 90s. I don't like it now. 
Right. You don't play any basketball games currently. No. NBA Jam was awesome. Oh, I don't know. This looks pretty good. The graphics are good. Kind of jamming music, too, though. You think I got some biceps. They got official NBA teams. That's pretty good. That's pretty big, right? All right, let's jump into some. Alex. New tab, Jazz. All right, the logos. It's, I say it's tough to judge a basketball game here like this. I don't know. I mean, it looks, it looks good, right? They got the court. They got like the name on the court. No one's making any hoops. But I want to see. I need to see a slam dunk before I can tell you what I think. Yeah. Do they have any cutscenes? Why is Dude, this that guy, guy keep sucks? He, he, he probably doesn't shots. know how to play the game. <laughs> that's that's usually how it works for me. Oh, there you go. There's a slam dunk. No cutscenes. He, he was probably trying to pass and just kept shooting it. Oh, there's a slam. Uh, all right. I'd say this looks average. Right. It's definitely playable. And it's great that they have NBA teams, so you can choose, you know, your favorite team. It's no NBA Jam, right? But you're right. That, that didn't come out yet. So what do they have? The this looks like B material. Maybe if you were a basketball fan, you might put it at A material. Right. I feel like you could have a good time with it, at least. Oh, there's a slam. Malone. Malone, the mailman, delivering. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is probably a B. I'd, yeah. I think it's okay with the, to put it there. All right, let's B it up. B basketball it up. for B. B for basketball. Create over here. Our 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 tear is gonna look like somebody shooting somebody a bird. It's like a hand <laughs> sideways. <laughs> all right, all we got left is the uh, the wrestling game here. What is it called? I, it's called Techno World Techno wrestling. World Wrestling. Yeah, I don't know if I I feel like I thought I had this, but I don't know. So it's weird. Cool. I don't even know what I have. So many NES games. Unsure what he has. Right. Let's get this gameplay going. I could say I never played this one either. There it is. Oh, you got it? Yep. Nice. Jay does Didn't even it. know. Oh, I definitely remember some of these wrestlers. Do you think his name was Rex Beat? Mark Rose, Julio Falcon, Randy Gomez, Dr. Julio, Argildo. Do these guys have red names? All right, let's get to some gameplay here. I feel like oh, it look looks a lot better. Announcer. Right, it looks a lot better than like WrestleMania did when that came out. Yeah, WrestleMania looked pretty jank janky, didn't it? And you get this little uh, announcer guy at the bottom of the screen. See your crowd. Oh, he's got him in a Boston Crab. Oh, that's what that is. I believe so. Suplex. I think I think there's supposed to be some like you must be a wrestling fan because I don't know the names of any of these moves. I know some of them here. What else we got? I don't know. It's not too bad. You can fight on the outside of the ring, dropping elbows. I like all the little people in the crowd. That reminds me of Mike Tyson's punch out. Right. So at least you got a crowd. Decent music. That guy's kind of pink like Soda Popinski. Oh, yeah, huh? He's got that, ooh, Whoa, look at scissoring that moves. Move. Threw him out of the ring. All right, he's almost done with Razor. this. Razor. Okay, what do you match? think? I was going to say, is this just one match taking 20 minutes now? He's spinning them. Oh, the... Um, what just happened? I froze frame on like the most disturbing. That is super weird. It like glitched or something. Oh, what is happening there? <laughs> Some of these wrestling moves are just risque. Techno World Wrestling. Where we going? Uh, that's what they at? call it, huh? That's what they call it. 
You think it'll go into the sea of bees? Oh, man. It looks like another B to me. Or is it a C? I feel like base- baseball is the only one that made it into the to the C ranking. Baseball, the worst American pastime ever. I hate baseball. <laughs> why, didn't, why can't we be like Canada and be like hockey? Like Canadians have clearly better taste. Fair enough. All right, so our final Four. breakdown of te- Tecmo rankings we got ninja gaiden one and three and tecmo super bowl all s rank in the a tier we have fire and ice ninja gaiden two and tecmo bowl in the mighty b category we got bad news baseball mighty bomb jack rygar salmon's key star force uh tecmo nba basketball world wrestling tecmo cup soccer game and down in C is Tecmo Baseball. That yeah. music saved the soccer game. It did, absolutely. I say no no D games. I mean they're no all D games. Playable, you know, not our favorite with the sports. If we were I guess if there was a hockey game, maybe it would have ranked a little bit higher on Jay's uh behalf there. <laughs> My biased list. Sick. Maybe uh, we'll see. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh I, I wish I if I'm being honest, I wish I had played a few of the games a little deeper to give you a better rating of it, but just based on what I saw and heard, uh, it's probably good as you're going to get. Right. I mean, we the ones that we have ranked at the higher tier were the ones we probably spent the more time with, and we probably haven't oh, yeah. played the... If, if anything, maybe we rented those back in the day and played them for 5-10 minutes. I'll definitely pop this in now and see give it a whirl. Yeah. Play it for 10, 15 minutes, see if it's any better. I'll report back to you. Let me know. <laughs> I will. Sweet. Um, let's see. What else we got going on here? Oh, I made I made this guy here. We can do the bull airs. If you guys want to save ten percent off. We got code now, warp pipe ten. You can save yourself ten percent off anything at bull airs. Dot com. He's got custom shoes, jackets, shirts, um, hats. Can go browse the categories. Tell him Weekly Warp Pipe sent you. Yep. Let's do a shout. Any out. callers? No, no phone calls yet. No, we're drying the calls. If you guys do want to call, leave us a voicemail: nine four nine six eight two nine two seven seven. That's nine four nine six eight two. Warp. <laughs> That's right. Leave us a voicemail. Um, we have shout out to our Patreons, top tier Patreons. Hey, thanks for supporting us. We got Dan and Nicole's Treasures Untold, Joe Sheevy, Trace Living Good, Samantha Chang, Rodney Torres, Retroholic 16, Austin Mills. Appreciate you guys supporting the show. I don't know okay. if you heard that on your end, uh-huh. but through my through my AirPods, you sounded like Megatron. <laughs> It's pretty wild. There you we'll go. See maybe it comes up in the podcast. Maybe if Megatron was <laughs> shouting out the Patreons. It sounded like it sounded like Rob was talking to me. Rob the robot. My special guest on Top Three Tuesdays. That's right. Cool. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed us ranking some Tecmo games. Let us know like the next publisher, because there's so many. Do we do um Capcom? Do we do what the hell? Do we else? do Konami first? Yeah, we did Konami the, first. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Cause that's we didn't my do favorite. Capcom. Ooh, um, I'd like to do Sunsoft too. Sunsoft, yeah. I mean, I guess we can also switch. I don't know if you guys just want to hear NES. We're obviously NES heavy on this channel, but we could do Sega stuff. I don't know. That's right. I'll do Sega. I don't Atari. That bad. I was mostly joking to make people irritated. Leave some uh, hate comments. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out. You guys have a great weekend. As always, I'm Russ Lyman. Keep your world fun bit by bit.